Yummy. The reprint is finally here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new printing of Spider-Man vs. Venom Omnibus by Tom DeFalco, David Michelini, and Louise Simonson. It has a $125 cover price and a 1,160 page count. Let's get into this Omnibus review. So happy to have this Omnibus finally in my collection. Of course, I had to go with the standard edition cover here with artwork from Todd McFarlane, man. That great iconic image. You have the Eric Larson Venom on the spine here. Spider-Man vs. Venom logo. You get a little cover gallery collected on the back of this as well. Just tremendous stuff, man. This is an iconic book. On the left-hand side of the inside of the dust jacket, you have the origin of Venom and a little synopsis on the story. And on the right-hand side, the creators. You got like David Michelini, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson, and Mark Bagley. And take a look at this amazing wraparound cover. Just one of the greatest wraparound covers I've seen. Absolutely gorgeous artwork, man. Iconic image there. Three of my all-time favorite comic book characters and just Mark Bagley goodness. Now taking a look at the binding of this, it is sewn binding, not much of an eye on this thing. I'm sure that'll progress as I read this. This book is gonna get read over and over again. You get these nice bright red bookend pages, that beautiful Eric Larson Venom image. And then on the next page, you get that Eddie Brock symbiote transformation, just spectacular. Unfortunately, this omnibus does not contain a table of contents, but it does have a list of everyone who created these Venom stories, these Venom and Spider-Man stories. So you have Tom DeFalco, Louis Simonson on this, David Michelini, Peter David, Howard Mackey, so many great writers. Then when it comes to artists on this book, man, you've got all the heavy hitters. Ron France, Greg LaRoque, Todd McFarlane, Ron Lim, Eric Larson, Mark Bagley, Adam Kubert, Sam Keith, Sal Buscema. I mean, come on, man. This is 90s comic goodness at its best all these phenomenal artists and writers man this is a great collection if you are a venom fan or a spider-man fan i always kind of lean to venom more because this is kind of more of a venom collection it's the best venom collection in my opinion the other venom omnibuses don't nearly touch how good this material is in this omnibus here and speaking of material let's just talk about quick what this omnibus does collect so this collects amazing spider-man 1963 258 300 315 through 317 332 through 333 346 through 347, 361 through 363, 374 and 378 through 380, Web of Spider-Man 1985 number 1, 95 through 96 and 101 through 103. Avengers Death Trap, The Vault, Dark Hawk, 13 through 14, Spider-Man, The Trial of Venom, Ghost Rider, Blaze, Spirits of Vengeance, 5 through 6, Spider-Man 1990, 35 through 37, Spectacular Spider-Man 1976, 201 through 203, and material from Amazing Spider-Man 1963, 373, 375, 388, and Annual 25 through 26, Web of Spider-Man Annual 7 through 8, Spectacular Spider-Man Annual number 12, Marvel Comics Presents 1988, 117 through 122, and Spider-Man Unlimited 1993, 1 through 2, plus some additional just Venom sublot pages that are spread throughout this omnibus as well. I'll also have everything that is collected in this omnibus down in the description if you want to take a better look at that. So this omnibus is going to start out with Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number 8, which of course is the origin of the alien symbiote that eventually becomes Venom, so you have a little bit of that in the beginning of this omnibus. Then issue 258 of Amazing Spider-Man. Spider-Man that's followed by some excerpts from Spectacular Spider-Man, some Fantastic Four, and Amazing Spider-Man as well. Which all builds up to bring you the first cameo of Venom in Amazing Spider-Man 299, the first cameo appearance of Venom himself. And then after that, of course, you're going to get one of the most highly sought after issues of all time, Amazing Spider-Man 300, which is the origin and the first full appearance of Venom, Eddie Brock, man. And uh, Todd McFarlane artwork, just fantastic. Dave Michelini story. So you're going to get that whole issue collected in this omnibus. And if I'm not mistaken, the only omnibus to collect that issue actually are this omnibus here and the uh, McFarlane and Michelini uh, omnibus as well. Gotta love that Eric Larson Venom there. Beautiful stuff. This book is just really a beautiful collection of Spider-Man and Venom issues. Also Carnage. There's some great Carnage stuff in this as well. I would say the three best collect editions to have in your collection if you're a Venom, Spider-Man, and Carnage fan are this Omnibus. You're going to want the, uh, the Carnage Classics trade paperback. That is also great. It's got the Mind Bomb stuff in there. And It's a Wonderful Life, which are two of the most demented stories in comic book history, man. Cletus 
Angus Cassidy at his finest. Those are some great stuff. And uh, I'm a big fan of the Donny Cates run as well. So the Venomdibus by Donny Cates, that's one to get to. Man, I just love that Eric Larson, Amazing Spider-Man cover, man. That thing is just absolutely fantastic. But Donny Cates did a good job of kind of redefining Venom and he brought the character into this kind of new modern era and just uh, really did a fantastic job throughout that. So if you hadn't read the Donny Cates stuff, definitely go back and read that. But I mean, this is all the classic stuff right here. You can't go wrong with any of this. Such great artists and such great writers on this. Just iconic cover again, ASM. 347 man just such a badass cover love the way the teeth are drawn and the like venom and the the dripping spit and ooziness and all that man it's just really fantastic artwork man this is why i love venom he's such a badass character man and then getting into we got the asm 361 the first appearance of carnage which is all time one of my favorite characters in comics love that negative space with his teeth and the artwork he's just such a demented character cletus cassidy and uh really really just so different from most of the characters that we got in comic books in this time period here we we never really got something this just absurd and just absolutely off the wall batshit crazy man he was such a cool character i love his character design so getting into review mode and talking about this omnibus really what it is the spider-man vs venom omnibus is just a massive collection of comics that spans several years of marvel comics history the omnibus edition collects some of the most iconic and memorable stories featuring spider-man and his arch nemesis venom as well as carnage uh, as the omnibus progresses we see the relationship between spider-man and venom become way more complex the stories explore the origins of the symbiote and its connection to peter parker as well as the origins of eddie brock the man who becomes Venom, the best Venom, in my opinion. Oh man, just real quick too, I love this moment in 362 of ASM when he just throws this baby. Carnage just grabs this baby in his little tendrils and just throws it. Absolutely hilarious. Then you get the classic cover of ASM 363 as well. So great that we get all these issues collected in this omnibus. Man, man I'm just so happy to have this book. We also see Venom team up in this with other villains, with like Carnage, and we also see uh, Spider-Man team up with uh, other heroes such as Wolverine and Ghost rider to take on the deadly duo or you also have spider-man and venom teaming up to take on carnage too so and then you get this great sam keith stuff collected in this omnibus too wolverine always looking phenomenal love sam keith's version of venom and wolverine just really truly badass artwork man obviously if you can't tell one of the greatest strengths of this omnibus is the artwork throughout it i mean the artists with todd mcfarlane mark bagley and eric larson are all top tier man and they bring their own unique style Style to the pages the action sequences are absolutely dynamic and exciting throughout this omnibus and the character designs for both spider-man and venom and carnage are iconic and so damn memorable you get the spider-man and limited stuff collected in this omnibus as well just so so good of a collection man this is one to have for sure if you're a venom fan the writing is also so strong throughout the omnibus the stories are well plotted and explore psychological motivations of the characters the conflicts between spider-man and venom is not just physical but also super emotional and personal between these two characters which just adds so much depth to the storytelling overall the spider-man vs venom omnibus is a fantastic collection of comics and showcases some of the best storytelling and artwork in marvel comics history the conflict between spider-man and venom is one of the most iconic rivalries in comics and this omnibus does justice to this epic saga whether you're a longtime fan or a newcomer to this world of spider-man this omnibus is definitely a must read man this book has a bunch of great extras collected in it as well if you're looking to pick up this book i get all my books from organicpricebooks.com the best place to get your omnibus and other collected editions super fast shipping bulletproof packaging and amazing customer service use promo code drock to get two dollars off your purchase and now use code drock ship it together to get five percent off an order of three or more books from organicpricebooks.com join the opb family today link is down in the description so as i said before tons of stuff collected in the extras in the back of this omnibus here fantastic artwork the maximum carnage stuff right here so you're gonna get like trade paperback covers you got the maximum carnage there which is classic man i think that was also on the video game you get the covers for the uh, michelini omnibus some more covers here that is your actual standard cover there then you got the eric larson sort of a new modernized version you have reprints of uh, asm 361 some black and white little uh, sketch work here, which is great. A bunch of these Marvel Universe trading cards are collected in the back of this omnibus too, which is a pretty cool little addition. So all in all, man, this is a fantastic read. If you're a Venom fan, you got to pick this Omni up. Let me know what you think about this omnibus down in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching.